What is the band's name, your names, and what instrument do you play? The band is called Paid in Blood. My name is Austin, and I play guitar. I'm Chris. I play guitar also. I'm Holsey. I'm the vocalist. Austin, I play bass. I'm Jared. I play drums. How long have y'all been a band? Myself, Holsey, and Chris started working on this band back in like 22, 23. Um, but it never really, never really did anything with it. And then at the beginning of this year, we finally got a full lineup, started playing some shows, started writing some more music, and now we're here. How would y'all describe your music? We're a hardcore band. Straight up hardcore, heavy mosh. That's it. Where's the band from? Fort Walton Beach, Florida. How did the project get started? Kind of like I described before. Um, I met Holsey at a bar, I think. Like this, this is like some we met mutual friends at, at a venue. I want. Yeah, either like I think we met at Downtown Music Hall because of some friends. We met at we met at some some shows. Yeah, and then. Just realized we both liked heavy music and we just met up and started writing some riffs, wrote some songs. None of those songs exist anymore. And then we met these fools and started writing more and better songs. Also going way back when you did that, I think what like really started like the seed was when we were in Beyond, but that's deathcore and we were listening to hardcore and that's when like kind of like the, we need to start a hardcore band. I don't know how. And that's when you started with Hate and Blood with them too. So yeah, that's how it really started from the back back. I noticed that you all vary widely in age. What is it about hardcore that you think makes multi-generational collaboration possible? Well, I think it's always, uh, you know, hardcore has always had like a solid community and, you know, kind of the same state of mind that, you know, any generation can appreciate and, and uh, you know, all connect with, so. Yeah, picking up off that too, uh, I've noticed that the genre hardcore, the lifestyle comes first, then the music comes second. Right. So for that to be the result, that means like it goes on for decades and decades, just picking up off of your parents or older people that are in that hardcore community. It's literally a lifestyle rather than a yeah a state of mind. Yeah. And yeah, music too, but you see, yeah. Take 
The band recently released a three-song demo. Can you talk a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, it's a just a basically a just a quick three-song demo of what we sound like. I very much believe hardcore, or not just hardcore, but like music in general, is very much sales. And this was our first sales pitch, just to kind of get something out. Hey, this is what we sound like. This is what we're capable of. This is what we can do. And now, from here on out, it's just getting better and better. What is the plan for future releases? We are currently working on an EP, possibly an album. Um, over the next couple months, you can expect to hear some new stuff out of us. So, any plans to tour? Hopefully, yeah, when the time is right. Ready as soon as possible. That'd be. What has everyone been listening to lately? Uh, I've been taking a step back and listening to a lot of older things when it comes to like heavier music. So uh, I got recently put on to this band called Stout, old older hardcore band. Um, I took a journey back and started listening to Metallica a lot more. And then outside of hardcore, there's a bluegrass artist named Billy Strings that I've been fucking up a lot recently. So E Town Concrete, and I'm still not tired of torture. Yeah, torture, torture goes crazy. Goes I've sure. never listened to anything oh, for months and months and still not get tired. Torture is unbelievable. Best. It's unbelievable work. That's I've I've been on a lot of Mind Force same way. Like listen to it every day, and I still I can't get tired of it. Uh, Chapter Under Ice has been Speed same way. Too. Speed too. I've been in um, Speed Foundation. Lot. Chapter Under Ice. Um, bands like that from the earlier two thousands that I listened to in high school that I still play daily. Shout out Speed. War Hungry, Iron Age, Spectral Wound. I like a lot of beatdown stuff and slam too, like Spawn of Disgust and yeah. bands like that. Embryectomy. What is the best part and what is the worst part of the Gulf Coast music scene? Uh, I would say best part being that because it's still kind of a smaller scene, it's super tight knit. Uh, it's pretty rare to go to a show and not know anybody. Like nine times out of 10, you're going to know a majority of the people there. Um, I would say the one downside is the lack of local bands causes an issue where we don't have a lot of just purely local shows. Um, not to complain and say that having these big touring acts coming through doesn't provide us with a good foundation to play shows. Um, but to an extent, like, I believe that the the scene starts at the foundation, which is the local level. And I feel like we kind of don't have a whole lot of that right now. Now, deep in the underground, there's a lot of a lot of good local acts coming out of this area. Shout out Statement of Pride. Shout out Accident Prone. Shout out Two Piece. Like shout out Brain Burn. Shout out Brain Burn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like so, there is a local scene here, but I, at least me personally, would love to see more of just purely local shows. You know.
Craziest things y'all have seen happen in the pit at a hardcore show. I got my hand broken. Not, uh, not necessarily a hardcore show. There was hardcore bands on it, but during Lorna Shore at Club LA, at Club LA, there's like this where like the pit is and all that, and then there's like this other level. I was up on this other level, and out of the corner of my eye, I see this motherfucker slip and eat shit, and it was like a cartoon. It was just whoop, 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 bam. That was probably the craziest thing I've seen, low key. Not necessarily hardcore, but back. I mean, it was like probably like 2010. You might have been there, but when uh, Joey Tyrell slipped and and mm. ate shit. No, he jumped. He staged though. He jumped off the stage mm. and nobody caught his big ass. He like broke his and, back. And or he something, broke his didn't back he? so bad that they had like a helicopter come to the American Legion and, and he was in a wheelchair for a while. Yeah, Ooh, it was, that was I got crazy. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, any for, any handlebar show from 20. 12 2013 to like 20 before the remodel any og handlebar show was like oh, the most yeah. violent thing ever like oh, cold-hearted yeah. fucking any oh, yeah. of those bad habits fucking when all the bigger bands came there like any show there was like fucking crazy i don't know casey a strange show a, uh i watched a dude almost get stabbed was that's a lot pretty more crazy thing back then too. some dude was mosh and got crowd killed didn't like it and he like pulled a knife out and then got tackled so well back in the day people used to like actually mosh hard and not just oh, do yeah. this like fake crowd killing where they like menaces, softly hit dude. the crowd and run away but it was just like a lot more tough mosh hard is what then. he's saying so the pits were like way crazier now it's like little kids trying to look tough yeah. for for me it was a uh, fya when uh i would i would stage dive and either at the pit or at the edge there will always be somebody almost always be somebody passed out and people telling me no while i'm already midair like yeah. i can't stop like and I just body slam already passed out dude and I just passed out squared. 
I could, <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. Just any more bands or promoters in the area that y'all would like to shout out? Shout Javin. out Two Piece. Shout out Javin House. Shout out Brain Burn. Shout out Statement of Pride. Shout out Accident Prone. Shout out pretty much every local band in this area, keeping it real, because we don't got a whole lot, so it's pretty legit seeing a bunch of people. It's getting better, though. It's getting Both better. Javin House. There's some good bands coming yeah. out of Florida right now. Shout out uh, Two Piece. I think it's safe to say without Two Piece, this, was not, this would not be a band. They very much inspired this project, so Facts. shout out Absolutely. to them. Facts. Uh, and then, yeah, every promoter here keeping it legit. That show at A&M. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Shout out Robert that Goodspeed. Was, yeah, Robert. Shout out Robert Goodspeed. Shout out Chris Tassin. Shout out uh, Steb Washburn. Uh, any other promoters I'm missing? I don't think so. Oh, Ty. Ty people oh, yeah. on some stuff. Ty, yeah, Ty yeah, Leahy. Absolutely. Shout out Ty Leahy. Yeah, man. Shout out, yeah. shout out Pensacola. Shout out Fort Walton, kind of. Shout out Panama City. Record with Javin. Record with Javin House. You heard it here first. Well, I just want to say I really appreciate y'all coming and playing on the show. Thank you. There you go. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you, you, Thank you, you. You're the man. Thank you, Javin. Doses. Oh! Hey, 